Okay, we're back. Uh, we have uh, two more to work on in our lines, uh, commands, and their options in our drop-down menu. So we're going to do lines, and then the next one we'll do lines through points, right? So uh, lines is basically that. Uh, it will give you a bunch of lines. So, uh, but, you know, like if you just use line, right, you have to draw a line and draw it out, right-click, bring it back, snap it to the corner, bring it back, snap it to the corner, bring it back, snap it to the corner and then close it off right uh, which is uh, you know it takes a lot more time to do uh, something like that so what you can do is you can go to your drop down go to lines and then you can just start picking whatever shape that you want automatically right and then if to close it, if you want to undo first uh, undo 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 you can undo them and go back and, and continue drawing whatever shape you want if you make a mistake and then actually at the end if you want to just close it off you can just hit close and it'll automatically close it off right now I'm going to leave this one alone for a second because you know you're thinking well there's polyline does the same thing right uh, polyline let's check that out so we draw curves yes pretty much the same thing right draw them out and then close it off and then there we are right and again you have the i'm going to right click bring that back uh persistent close you can do that uh after you draw your your second point it'll automatically persistent close which we'll go into more about that but what the difference is here is if i click on this one it's already uh a planar closed curve it's already closed right and here with your lines curve that we drew but from the drop down uh, each one of those lines is not uh, joined together so they're all individually out there so you can do more manipulation to them say you were trying to do a, a profile right uh, uh, for your profile library uh, so let's just do this real quick so I'll get rid of those real quick we'll go back to our drop down drag our lines and then I'll just uh, draw hold down shift and draw me a uh, kind of shape I want out here and we'll do something like this and I'll hold down shift go to 45 uh, hold down shift come across here and then I'll just close it off uh, by clicking here right so I got my shape out there it's not really exactly what I want but uh, you know it, this will show you what I want uh, or what you can do so you know after you draw your shape out right you can always take uh, curves and then type in rebuild and then right you can change your points right so now if i take these and i go to turn on my points uh with my curve select my object in there and now i have these extra points here so now i'm able since they're degree two is make them have they have curvature right uh so i can bend them out and, and make uh, different shapes with them and then of course you can take those points and and do whatever you want with them as well and then once you get the shape that you want you can take it all join it together and you're good to go for the most part uh of course you there's other things you can do but you get the idea as far as uh how you can use them a little bit differently than the polyline curve because the polyline curve if you have it you'd have to draw everything out and then go back and then if you want to manipulate it if you wanted to rebuild it you know you can type in rebuild or you should be able to go here and rebuild and we'll, you know you have to change each individual curve you have to explode it right so let's go back you'd have to take it explode it and then pick the curves that you want to uh, uh, rebuild and then go back and rebuild those curves uh, so it can be a little uh, quicker sometimes uh, to uh, just use the the lines uh, depending on what you're doing of course and then you can manipulate these however you want right uh, so hopefully that gives you a little idea it's it's uh it's kind of useful uh especially when you're doing certain things that you want to manipulate want go back and change it after you draw the entire shape out so hopefully that helps and if it does please like subscribe leave a comment and uh we'll get going on the last 